All right, so I'm out here having my uh, mental meetings with myself. And, man, I want to capture all of this just right like I was just talking about it to myself. That's why I had to grab the camera. I got to learn how to record these thoughts as, as, as if I'm not on film, you know what I'm saying, like be as articulate as possible, as thorough as possible. I'm learning how to communicate better. I was listening to a few of my own. Instagram post, and I was listening to myself, you know, jog through my brain to find the perfect words, and sometimes the perfect word is the most basic word, but, uh, and that's another level of me just learning how to better express myself, uh, yeah, I'm not going yell, it's all good though, but, uh, so, I was thinking about, uh, and I titled this in my mind as Cracking the Code, but with a lot of things, that I'm experiencing in life. I was just watching a, um, a little infomercial on, on YouTube. And it was a doctor talking about fungal infection and fungi and whatnot. And I was listening to him as best as I could, but I couldn't help but dive into my own thoughts. And it led me to my um, my position on... on um, like just you know just the human race the human the actual act of being a human being like it's some very difficult shit and one thing I, the first thing I thought about was uh I've always been drawn to the X-Men and the mutants the idea of being a mutant human being and the whole controversy the whole conflict in the X-Men um in the X-Men series, you know, is about the battle between the quote-unquote perfect human and the mutant, the mutant human, and the perfect human is in fear of the mutant human because they don't understand their difference. So, um, we get into this control thing, you know, the person that, that feels inferior by, because of this, uh, you know, lack of understanding about something, uh, uh, look, looks at that thing as a threat and wants to control it. And, uh, you know, it brought me to thinking, look, uh, on one of my songs, the song Motion, uh, Bob Proctor says, we live in an ocean of motion. But, uh, I, I, I oftentimes think of our human existence as if we live in an ocean, you know, minusing the actual value of water as H2O, but the oxygen phase that we live in represents our, you know, our um, surrounding Organism, you know, water is the surrounding organism for fish, but our oxygen level of existence is our surrounding organism for, you know, as human beings. And the biggest issue that we have as human beings is our ability to use our minds to think, to 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 create. And creation goes into so many realms. It goes into a realm of physical activity, and also it goes into a psychological realm. And we create um, we, we Because we're able to create Beyond our initial purpose Which human beings are really One of the few Probably one of the only Organisms That doesn't have a real purpose in the, in, the, in, the, in the balance and sustainability of the environment that we live in, we have a mental um, existence of purpose. And our mental existence of purpose leads us to always want to advance. Wanting new, new things to satisfy our psychological existence, and that's when you go into some shit like the matrix. Like, it, like when they say ignorance is bliss. Like when you, when you, when you just, when you can just exist in the purpose that's created for you, the system that you live in, and it's, it's pretty easy to navigate through. But when you start understanding that it's not fulfilling, it, you know, the, the perpetuating of the cycle is what creates, you know, all of the, all, all of the conflict, the internal conflict that we have. 
Um, it's a very deep conversation. I don't, I'm trying to condense it as much as possible. But, um, you know, like I say, like, our purpose here on, on the earth is kind of undefinable. So we continue to create and recreate our own purpose. And that leads to the need of advancement. And in order to advance, you have to be in control. And with within the sense of control, you kind of lose sight of balance. But we feel as if you have control over things, then we can control the balance. This is which is this is why we have knobs and um, devices, you know, to manipulate reality. You know what I mean? You know, um, it's it's a, it's a, it's a very deep it's a very deep ass. Uh, matter deep discussion because like something as simple as clothes you know it's it's a, it's clothes you know what I'm saying like that's all it is rather I have a name on my shirt or not it's still a shirt you know what I'm saying but because we like to we've learned we, we've learned to want to classify and identify you know things with uh, status and worth and value rather than just enjoying our our purpose and if we were maintainers of the environment we would not create the problems that have to be maintained you know the oceans don't would not have to be rid of oil and litter had we not tampered with the elements so we created that problem so uh, just in the construct of you know, I was just thinking like a lot of people don't like solutions because once a problem is solved, there is no more problem, and pe- we we've, we've come to identify ourselves with our problems, the things that we need to fix, um, rather than grasping a level of balance. And uh, I think the word is homeostasis. You know, a balanced place that you know you're at. We continue to create reasons to find other solutions to things that otherwise are not even a problem. And the idea of being perfect, you know, um, animals don't. And I and I, I I have to draw to this relationship because animals don't judge one another for their difference. You know, but people have created a ideal image of self that uh, that that creates a reason for us to not agree with who we just who we are now. Like I said, like my teeth are yellow, and it's a little it's a little unsightly in the ideal aspect. You know what I'm saying? We want our teeth to be white because we've been we want our teeth to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? And um. Things such as health issues, and I'm just, you know, just sharing my thoughts. Things such as health issues are a created environment. You know, I was thinking, like, does a does an elephant have the same blood pressure as a squirrel? <laughs> so how in the fuck can every human being have the same blood pressure? You know, does your, when you're experiencing things that you think are blood pressure issues, a lot of times I think certain people are meant for certain activity. And if you're an active person, being in an environment that's not conducive to your, you know, your natural person could create a sense of imbalance. So if you're some, if you're someone that's supposed to be running, but you're sitting, then this could create that blood imbalance and what they call high blood pressure because you're not naturally exerting the energy that you as an individual are supposed to exert you know what i'm saying like it's a it's a very it's a deep conversation bro like for real when i say i have mental meetings with myself you know and i just try to continue to better articulate my perspective my understanding you know we live in a world where people pride themselves on being able to control the situation like yesterday my son and i went to go get his uh we're going to get an id um due to a process that he's you know starting and we couldn't get his license well we we're going to actually get his physical license his real license but we couldn't get like get, get his license because of a particular restriction 
and we could have gotten just an ID, but it was cheaper to get his, um, just get his learner's license renewed. So when we got ready to go approach the cl the clerk, he only has his uh, plastic copy of his learner's license. So she insists on saying, where's your hard copy? He says, I lost it. She says, shame on you. I jump in, shame on him for what? You know what I'm saying? You didn't. You don't know under what circumstances his license was lost, but you have to interject some means of control. She said, no, because I said, to be honest with you, I find it more uh, impressive that you were able to keep the first copy. Nobody keeps the paper copy. You throw the paper copy, copy away as soon as you get the hard copy. But he had, the, the paper copy was laminated. We laminated the paper copy, and he held on. He kept that copy. It's still valid. Uh, I think it does expire, but it's still representation that you have already completed the process. So even all this shit with due dates and, you know, like, updates and, like, this this this, this world that we live in, like, you know, creating positions for people where people are pretty much otherwise fucking worthless. You know what I'm saying? And for her to have to interject and create that that um that mood the mood of and uh, of aggravation you know what i'm saying like, he didn't have to say shit he has something to prove that he's in the system he can you can access your system with the information that he has so he has valid he had he has something that's necessary why do we even have to go into why you ain't got your real like so that's some that's some women shit that's what's wrong with black women man you know this whole everything that black women have been taught about them having to be um the men of the house and, you know, do, uh, things that are beyond their, their, uh, their desire to survive is created this anger, you know what I'm saying? And this need of control over situations, you know, I go into the black woman shit a lot, man, cause I'm really having a hard time with y'all bitches, man, like, I don't know, I mean, got from my mama to my ex, from my baby mama to I'm a fucking get on my fucking nerves, you know, I swear to God, I get on my nerves, like, I just make sure everything fucking different, just, just because, just because they don't know no fucking black When I did that post on Instagram about that little girl, it was just, you know what, I can't even say black woman, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, women in general, because I talk to, it's niggas, that, it's people at my, it's men at my job, that's married, that don't be eating. I come into the motherfucking every time I'm on break, I got a full meal to eat. Who could it? Me. Shit, I don't know what, what the fuck. Are you serious? Like, bitch, like, I'm gonna just be honest with you, man. Bitch can't really give me shit but some pussy, man. Like, I'm gonna just be honest. The way motherfuckers be acting, I would love to be in love. I'm a slow, strong ass, loving ass nigga, man. Like, I like catering to a woman, but I can't. I can't nobody put up with that bullshit, man. These motherfuckers are so goddamn confused. What my man said on goddamn baby boy, unstable motherfucking creatures. That shit real, man. That shit really is, man. Y'all want a woman to rule the country? You got niggas talking about God is a woman. Nigga, God is God, man. Stop. I'm not even finna get into that shit today. I'm not finna get into shit. Motherfucker told me, I, since I want my peace, just stay from around me. Cause she ain't gonna, she basically saying she ain't gonna be a part of the peace. Motherfucker. I ain't stunned that shit. But yeah, man. As long as you want to be in control, there will be no balance. People don't want balance and people don't want solutions. People want to be in control. It's the world we live in. So, you know, eh, it is what it is. A couple years. You know what I'm saying? Everything come full circle. One thing about life, 1 to 18 is our very important years, but 18 to 90 lasts a lot longer. So I, I'm in a situation, I'm building my time machine, let me see my son. I ain't even standing shit. I, am. I had a good three years with my baby, you know what I'm saying? And I sacrificed a few more years just because I wanted to be in a stable environment, even if, as unstable as it may be. But somewhere where you ain't got to go back and forth between types of, you know, um, you know, lifestyle or whatever, you gotta switch back and forth between lifestyle. Stay with her for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? And then when you get ready and shit's able, you come on back to daddy and we'll do these real years and live a great life together. You know what I'm saying? It's really what all this shit, but I'm, I'm just in my feeling, man. But I think I'm a motherfucker like trying to take you out your zone. I ain't wanna put this shit on Instagram, but I did wanna record some of my thoughts for the moment, so. You know, I'm still going to have my mantra, man. God bless good people, man, because I might listen to it and then I might throw it on the ground later. 
Let me just be through another little moment in time. Feel.